Hi, my name is Chris Kovach, and I am the Northeastern Florida Sales Representative for Toby Dynavox. Today, we're going to expand a little bit more on basic button modification. In another video, I've covered how to change the label, the message, and the symbol on the button, but we're going to explore a few more of the other options available to us in our modification. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose one or two of these buttons, and we're going to play with some of those tools. So to get started, we're going to navigate to a page where we'd like to change a button. I am currently in the quick fires on the nav bar layout. I'm going to select the three bars in the upper corner, which takes me into my modification mode. From there, I'm going to select the button that says mom. Here we can see the basic contents of the button, the label, the message, and the symbol, which I covered in another message, or I'm sorry, in another video on how to change those options. What we didn't talk about was changing any of the other options, such as the font, where we can actually change the type of font we're using, as you can see it changing on the button itself. We can change the size of the text. We can change whether it's bold, italic, or underlined. We can change the color of the text itself. And we can change the background to the text. Very similar to what you can do in standard word processing. The next tab allows us to change the layout. So we have a standard button type, uh, which is what all of these buttons are, and we can change the symbol layout. We can make the text be on top, on the bottom, like it is uh, most commonly, just the picture itself, to the right, to the left, or just text. The next option is changing the style. The style of the button currently is a rounded corner uh, rectangular button. You can also change it to have different themes or different colors. So if I wanted it to be a background of blue or circular or oval, uh, you have the ability to do so. All of these things can be changed and modified and they can always be put back uh, to the basic uh, starting point. So you can do any modification you need uh, that's going to best help your customer or your loved one. The access tab uh, for most is not usually going to be touched. Uh, in many cases when using a T-Series with Compass, most access is done via touch access. Um, so we don't really need to play in this option too frequently. Uh, the last tab is the miscellaneous tab, which allows us to hide or unhide a button. Uh, this is actually a fairly common uh, request for speech pathologists and family members. Uh, using this page as an example, maybe eight buttons is a little bit too much. We only want to work on maybe six buttons today. What we could do is we could maybe hide the mom and the dad button so that while we're working through therapy, we only have options of yes, no, please, thanks, don't, and okay. In order to hide the button, we simply checkbox the hidden option. And you'll see that you'll get the hash lines through that button indicating that it's hidden. To save those changes, you simply need to click off of the, the modification box or select the green checkbox in the corner. If we would like to hide the dad button as well, we follow the same process. Three bars in the corner, select the button, go to the final miscellaneous tab and select hidden and click off of the box. What's nice about hiding buttons is that you don't have to rebuild them. Uh, so if you're ready to introduce a button at a later time, you can simply unhide it by doing the exact same process. Three lines in the corner, select the button you would like to unhide, select the miscellaneous tab and unhide it and click save. We'll do that again for the dad button as well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks and have a great day.